If you want to learn how to create this super high jump effect inside Premiere Pro, then this video is for you. Stay tuned! Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create this super high jump effect inside Premiere Pro. Pretty excited because this time we're using Adobe apps because this app is for professional. Professional. I am professional. Am I? Uh, you decide. Oh, before that, before that, before that. Remember to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay notified. Stay notified. Okay, now we can fire up Premiere Pro. Let's go. So as you can see, I have my clip right here. Okay, I jump. Then I quickly walk away without touching the camera. Okay, right here. We are going to click this thing. It's called Razor 2. Or you can just click C on your keyboard. And it's gonna split the clip, okay? And now, right here, nothing is moving. We're gonna right click this. Wait. Okay, we are going to right click and add frame hold. We are going to right click and add frame hold. Okay? Right. Now, just gonna. When I jump, okay, as you can see right now, okay, I jump, then it disappears. So it is already quite good actually, but now we are going to make this fly up. So what I'm going to do is right click again. And add frame hold. So this is the frame hold. Okay. So now all we have to do is you can see this effects controls. And now you can see this opacity. Let's click this. You can see it's square on my screen. You can move it around. This is called a mask. So what we have to do is we have to drag, clicking this drag and then it will become a mask selection mask so yeah dun, 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 <coughs> And then when you're done, you right click this clip that you just selected, right click that clip that you just mask out, click nest, hit OK. And now, the fun part, okay. So, you can see when I click this nested sequence, which is gonna add the transform effect. How? So, you cannot see any transform effect like right here. We are just going to hit effects controls. See right here. And then search for transform. And now you can see this transform under the distort. Distort. Actually, it's called distort. Uh, drag it to your clip. Okay, as you can see. Oh no. We are going to effect controls. And uncheck use composition shadow angle. Shadow angle to 180. 180. Okay, now under transform, you can see position. 
Okay, we can drag up. No, but first, Control Z to undo or Command Z in MacBook. Control Z to undo or Control Control Z to undo or Command Z in Mac. So we're just gonna click this position, not position. Beside that, there is a clock that's called Tuga Animation. This is going to make a keyframe. So we move a few seconds forward and then just make it fly. Yeah. Now let's play back. It's quite slow actually. We're just going to. Pull this thing closer. It's called keyframe. Now let's play back. So if you want to add more effects like green keying, in the next tutorial I'll teach I'll teach you how to key up the green screen in the next tutorial. And uh, yeah, th I think that's it. And I'll see you in the next. Fit it.